Hey guys, welcome to Lifestyle with Johnny. And um, I have something that in the beginning, when I tried this, it was the most horrific taste in my mouth that I've ever had in my life. It wasn't a good experience. So let me tell you about this. Let me tell you the story. As you know, Johnny loves stories. I'm gonna tell you the story. I was working for a company, tech company. You know, they have a beautiful kitchen, snacks galore, you name it. Everything is in there. I'm at a meeting, everyone's drinking this drink. And I'm like, I've never seen it before, never heard it before. But everyone's just drinking it. I'm like, oh, what is this? I thought it was a power, like a power, um, like an energy drink, which I don't drink energy drinks. Um, I just don't, I just don't, I don't need it. I wake up early in the morning and I'm just spicy already. So, um, I, 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 I grab one. I was like, let me just try this. So I'm actually, you know, about to um, present my deck. Um, you know, I was, I was up next. And I took a swig of this drink. This drink right here. And man, it tasted like pure shit. And it threw me off. And I started to perform, you know, I present my, my deck. And, um... I just swallow it, of course. Pause, relax, let's calm down. And um, I had to kind of just had to put it down, and everybody was just sipping it like it's like it's nothing. It's like it's like it's the bomb. So um, a good, a great coworker of mine, great guy. Um, you know, after the the meeting, um, he wasn't there in the meeting. He was actually in another room. And he was on solo by himself, and so I knocked on. I said, "Yo, dude, I said, go. How are you drinking this shit?" And he was like, "Dude, I know." After a while, he was like, "Man, the first thing he said, I didn't like it either the first time. He said, I didn't like it the first couple of times." But he said, "But I said, everybody keep on drinking it." He was like, "I just kept on drinking it until now I have acquired a taste for it." And that's the thing. It's called a Croy. This is Pample Mouse. I don't know. I think this is grapefruit. Um, it's actually just sparkling water. It's, and it's called LaCroix. And you can pick this up at any supermarket, anywhere, Aldi's, whatever. Wherever you shop at. Um, my wife loves it. I got her into it, actually. Because I started buying it. Um, and I actually bought it because I didn't want... No, I have children. I have you know, family, big family. Every time I buy something, they, they take it. They eat it. They drink it. They, they consume it. Whatever it is. So I try to buy the worst things possible now. And so they, they won't freaking touch my shit, right? So, but even then, I they still now they love it too. So now they're drinking the croix too. So, like anything else, right? So, when I first was, you know, tried smoking, that was horrible. I kept on smoking. Um, when I tried weed for the first time, that was horrible. I kept on smoking weed. And I got a quiet taste for it. Beer, beer was nasty, and <laughs> I kept on drinking my father's beer. Thanks, Dad. And, you know, um, wine or, man, uh, whiskey. That's just burning my tongue. And I, I'm i like, how are, what are you tasting these and these notes? Uh, you know what I'm saying? All I taste is the armor all. <laughs> but um, this, this, that was the thing. That was the, the, the thing about being able to be receptive to an acquired taste or acquiring a taste for something. And I guess that's what the whole premise is, right? You learn about every about yourself more, about everything you engage with. And by engaging with LaCroix, the way I did, I learned that I had to give things more than one try, right? I had to give it a few tries. Until now, it's good stuff. I love it. You know, if I had regular water or this, depending on my mood, most likely I would choose this. It's a sparkling. Um, it's a little different. And the flavor is not bad. Again, you're going to have to acquire a taste for things. And trying things a few times may be something you're going to have to do. You know? And don't get me wrong. There's going to be things you just don't like. There's things I just don't like. Um, but when you... It depends how you introduce to a, to something, right? So if you introduce to something that's just kind of random and spontaneous and sort of stuffs in your mouth, you're going to say, oh my God, what the fuck are you doing? And, oh, this is fantastic. Or, what the hell is this? You're going to spit it right out. Or, 
if you already are assuming something tastes nasty, you're already telling yourself this is disgusting. So your tongue is going to be like, yo, don't put it here because you already said the brain already told me it's disgusting. So if I taste this, I'm going to spit it out. So once you get past those initial introductions and you actually are open to trying something new because you're willing to, then that, that's when your senses really come into play and say, okay, well, let's try this. You're telling yourself it's essentially safe, right? That, that's how our body works. So trying something new, giving it a shot, it's not a bad thing. Giving it a few shots at that too. So make sure you really don't like it. But um, it's not a bad product, you know? Um, the Croy, you guys are cool. I love the drink. Um, my family loves the drink. It's good stuff. So I do encourage you guys to try it out. Try other things as well. And um, that's my review on the Croy. Johnny out.